Good day everyone. My name is Hunter Harrington and today I would like to introduce you to Profinet Commander. Profinet Commander is a powerful cross-vendor Profinet software tool which is designed to be fast and easy. It runs on a PC-based system and allows you to set up, test, and commission real-time Profinet I.O. devices quickly without PLC programming or additional hardware. And this is beneficial for your Profinet applications, whether it's for sales, for example, for sales demo, engineering, for testing or commissioning a device, maintenance, for troubleshooting, or maybe setting up identification information, and development, for example, if you're going to release a product and you want to test it. Shown here is a picture of a typical setup, including Profinet Commander loaded on our PC which is then connected to other Profinet I.O. devices or a PLC as a Profinet I device on your network. Here we are showing the real hardware in use today. We have a switch and Profinet I.O. device from Siemens, a Profinet I.O. device from Phoenix Contact, and a Profinet I.O. proxy from Hillshire, which is mapping information to and from a GE Profibus slave. As you can see, we have a couple different flavors of the tool available. The free version comes with our fully working DCP browser and a demo of the other features. The pro version includes all features including the Profinet I.O. controller, records, diagnostics and more. Now I would like to show you the main Profinet Commander interface so I have it pulled up here. We have the navigation pane, a device list pane, properties pane and then an information alarms pane. We also have different functions you can use in the software for example importing the configuration file browsing and looking at your network with a DCP browser, reading diagnostics from a device or devices, reading and writing data records, and then also configuring your controller. You also can set the operation of the controller here, whether it's operate or offline, and you can get statistics, uh, status information, for example, if there's a diagnostic or if a device goes offline. Uh, the controller is running, that's going to show up here. We also can set what network card we want to use in the software by picking from the next selection. Okay, now let's look at device setup with the DCP network browser. So I'm going to go into the browser now. Using the browser, you can identify what devices are currently connected to the Profinet network with the function DCP identify all. So I'm going to hit that. Information returned includes vendor, device type, device name, MAC and IP addresses, and more. If needed for documentation, the network inventory can be copied into other tools such as Excel or Notepad and saved into a file so I could copy this information if I wanted to. Uh, if necessary you can set IO device names uh, which is usually mandatory and also you could set IP addresses for example on IO controllers or special devices where you needed to set an IP address. Typically you don't have to set, a, set an IP address on a device you have to set the name so I'm going to set this device because right now I don't have my name set correctly so I want to set this one back to the correct setting, ET200SP, and I'm going to hit DCP set name to assign the name to the device. The name or IP can be set uh, either permanently or temporary, uh, and if you're having trouble finding the device, you can actually flash the device LEDs. Let me see if that, okay, there we go, so we can actually select a device, hit the LED flash if we wanted to have a flash. Uh, finally, we could the get some information from a device, we could set IP parameters, uh, we could even reset a device back to a factory state. All of these uh, DCP functions come in the uh, Profinet Commander free version, so wanted to cover those. Next let's talk about the pro version features. Okay, prior to starting the Profinet IO controller, it's necessary to build a configuration and compile using the TIA engineering tool which you can download separately and it does not require an additional license so the license is already included with the Profinet Commander Pro license. Uh, it's necessary also to get the GSD files for the Profinet devices you're going to use and you're going to import those into the configuration tool create your configuration and then and compile and after you do that compilation that's going to create an XML file so again, uh, once we generate the XML file, we now can import this into the Profinet configuration. Uh, if we import using the import function, 
We can now import that in. So I'm going to go out here and select my configuration file, import that into the tool. Now you see these panes got populated, so I now have all of my devices here, the I.O. modules, the sub modules. I've also got the device list. I've got a properties pane and an information and alarms list. And we're able to now see everything. So if I go now set the controller to operate mode, I can now see if, if my devices are going to come online. Now I've set it to run, so the controller is going to go out and try to run the devices. Now I can see that my devices are coming online, so I've got the four devices. Now they're online. I also have a good status here uh, of the devices, and I can look here, for example, my inputs. So if I'm going to press, and you can see here, I'll show you a picture where I'm pressing these buttons. You also can see now, um, I'll show you in the software now, the values changing as I'm, as I'm pushing those buttons or if I'm pushing all three, I've got my inputs coming in. I also can go set outputs, and this is device data that's going to be written over to the device, so I could set that to increment or to a manual value, and so now it's going to start counting. And now if you look at the lights on, on my rack, uh, you can see that the lights are flashing. I also could set it to a static value. For example, if I wanted to come down here on this output module, I could set them all to one. And now I've got all the outputs on on that device, or again, I could have it count if I wanted it to. Um, and that was the, the outputs. Uh, we also can now look at uh, some other inputs. that uh, It supports both analog and digital and other types. So I could actually go turn on my uh, voltmeter now. You actually should see the voltmeter turn on. So let's look at that. So now I've got the voltmeter. I'm sending some data out to it. Um, or we could look at the inputs from the rheostat. So if we're looking at that, that's coming from this device. You can see here, I've got the uh, a value here of almost zero, but I'm going to start turning this rheostat. You should see that value start to change. Those uh, third and fourth bytes are now changing as I'm turning the rheostat here. You can all see how I'm turning it here. And then I can turn it back off. So you can see how the output data is cycling and counting up also. And so controllers writing and reading the data from the devices. Profinet Commander also supports Profinet device diagnostic alarms. Here we can show you what happens when we have, for example, a power supply fault on one of our devices, so this ET200SP device. We can actually have a, a fault and we've, we've enabled that, so if I go over here, now I'm going to flip that diagnostic condition, and now I've turned off the power supply on that, that IO bus power. And now we can see we have a fault on the I.O. device, and it's also shown up here in our tool. So if I go click now down here, I can see I've got a power supply fault. Check the supply voltage, or if I come up here, I can actually do a read diagnostic function. Click that, and I can actually see which devices have a diagnostic. So that's device number one. That's our ET200SP. Now we've got a diagnostic. Now if I go clear that diagnostic, it's going to also clear out in the main window, and then if I read the diagnostics again, now I have an OK, and I get a timestamp kind of when I got the, uh, the diagnostic uh, condition cleared. Profinet Commander also supports acyclic standard and vendor-specific record data. Here, we're going to highlight one of our running devices, and now we, you can see we have the read-write record data record option available. So I'm going to go to this. Now I've got my read-write record interface up. So I now can pick what record I want to read or write to. For example, we could read the serial number and the firmware revision from the device. This is a standard Profinet record. It's called INM0 or Identification and Maintenance Function 0. So if I read this record now, I've got some information about the device. I've got the part number. I've got the serial number, the software revision 3.1, and that kind of information. I also can get a lot of other information from devices like statistics or diagnostic information, further diagnostics, further maintenance information. We can get information about our application in relation to the controller, for example, find out more about how that's set up. So again, there's a lot of different records to Profinet Sports. All the standard ones are in here. And again, if you wanted to type in your own, which maybe was a vendor-specific record, you could do that as well and then uh, read data from that. Or you also can write record data uh, from down here on the bottom window. Again, either vendor-specific or Profinet-specific data. So in conclusion, 
the main benefits of Profinet Commander are that it helps make sales, engineering, maintenance, and development on Profinet quick and easy since you don't have to do any special PLC configuration or programming to check out or set up a Profinet device or network. So the next thing you need to do, give Profinet Commander a try. Get it at www.profinetcommander.com.